Hi everybody, we just arrived at Amare La Cucina, which is very well known for their wood-fired brick oven pizza. Here in Baguio, we got some discounts today. Buy one, get one on gelato. Amare La Cucina is considered to serve the best Neapolitan-style wood-fired brick oven pizzas in Baguio. It was founded by Baguio-born Edmark Bustos in 2013, who was a licensed nurse by profession, but because of his passion for Italian food, turned his passion into a restaurant concept that started in his ancestral home and now has six branches around the Philippines in Baguio, La Union, Capitolio, Arcovia City, Santa Rosa, and Tagaytay Highlands. Aside from their Neapolitan-style brick oven pizzas, they serve appetizers, pastas, gelato, and craft beers. For refreshments, I ordered the Amare Pistachio Beer. So that is their crafted draft beer with pistachio syrup. I've never tried that before. Well, crisp, refreshing, and just a little bit sweet from that pistachio syrup. But, wow, that's a great way to start your appetite. From their extensive, well-presented menu, we would highly recommend every single dish we ordered. The pollo frito, burrata arugula prosciutto salad, Alvin's pizza, pepperoni pizza, foie gras pizza, assorted gelato for dessert, and for refreshments, the Amare pistachio beer. Burrata, arugula, prosciutto, salad. I wouldn't know myself, but other dish and that's why it looks okay. But I would expect more sprinkles of the oil and balsamic vinegar. But let's try maybe. Oh, let's see if that burrata is creamy. Yes. Moment of truth. It's a little bit looks like cottage cheese. For me, any type of burrata is good. Because I love this cheese, it's my favorite. And let's try it all together. Burrata is chilled well. I think that's why it has that texture. Probably was frozen, but wasn't frosted. What can you say? Still creamy and moist on the inside or dry? I think they should have waited a little bit longer. But it's not dry, just too cold compared to the For lunch, we just arrived at Amare La Cucina here in Baguio City. And they're highly regarded for having the best wood-fired pizza in town. So let's see how it is. So two pizzas, the pepperoni at saka yung yeah, Alvin's. I like the way you toss your pizza. How long gonna cut out now pizza yo loca? How long you been making pizzas? Anong favorite pizza mo dito? 
Tres formaggi po. Tres formaggi. Everyone. Gano ka init yung oven niyo? 500. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, it's hot in there. Thank you. Then the next one. Let's turn that pizza. Gusto ko crispy yung crust. It's like a pesto base. Pesto base, right? Bacon. Okay, our two pizzas have arrived. We got the pepperoni pizza and Alvin's pizza. Uh, 10 inch. So, Alexandra, you're up first with your favorite pepperoni pizza. How do you like it? How's their pepperoni itself and how's the crust of the pizza? It's so high. It's fine. All right. Yeah, well, you saw how that pizza was cooked. That was a proper wood-fired oven. I mean, wow, that was so hot. My camera was already getting scorched inside there. So for condiments, I have chili oil and chili honey, as well as uh, chili powder. 
So I'm just gonna have my first bite on its own. I'm gonna have some, add some chili oil after. Mm. That's actually a very nice crust. And I like their immersion blender tomato sauce. It's very light. And if you look at the, the crust, I like the, oh, like the bubbles on the crust and the charring. I'm adding my chili oil, my chili flakes. I can say so far the crust, it's, it's an authentic Neapolitan style crust. Mm. Chewy in the center, but thin crust. Now a little bit of the edge. Oh yeah. Wow, so airy. I think this is probably the, the only true wood-fired oven pizza restaurant in Baguio. So if that's what you're craving for, this is the place to be. And they have so many choices for their toppings. Okay, I can't wait to try the other pizza too. Cheers. Second pizza we ordered at Alvin's Pizza. It's topped with mozzarella cheese, parmigiana reggiana, basil, and also bacon. It's like it's really has a rich amount of ingredients but I would like to see bacon more crisp and maybe even not so big cuts let's see mm. super flavorful I think this one slice could be my perfect breakfast to boost my energy and I think it's really nice with the egg in the center, oh yeah, with an egg in the center, that would be awesome. Yeah. Can we call it a breakfast, Alvin's yeah. breakfast pizza? I'm gonna try this um, whole graph pizza. A little bit sweet, I think it was strawberry jam, and a little bit of foie gras with some arugula we top, some butter for mac and cheese, I call magnolia, eat it, and cheese. Very tasty. What about Soft. the foie gras? Is there sufficient foie gras? Are you getting that foie gras little, flavor? Very little foie gras, not sufficient for my standard. <laughs> Insufficient for the price. Yep. But get one, get one. It's good. I like the crust. They also serve gelato here, so we're gonna have some. Oh wow, this looks amazing. So we got pistachio, one scoop, and Alexandra got the Nutella. But they also have Corona. I want to try that Corona. How is your Nutella gelato? It tastes super sweet and it tastes so chocolatey. And I think it almost tastes like hazelnut. Nice. So you're enjoying it? Mm -hmm. Nutella is hazelnut. Now, was it better than the chocolate that you tried? Yeah. Okay. And I got the pistachio. That's actually one of my favorite gelatos, always kind of like my benchmark. Mm. Wow, that's full flavor and it's not so sweet. That is an excellent gelato they serve here at 
Amare. Fantastic. Well, guys, I have to say we truly enjoyed our Neapolitan pizza dining experience here, as well as the gelato. So, if you're in the mood for Neapolitan pizzas, you know where to go in Baguio. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe. We'll see you in the next episode. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. We're now at Wright Park, and this is where you can go horseback riding. We're still deciding what we're going to do, but I just wanted to check it out since it was very close to Amare. Uh, La Cucina restaurant. So I guess these are the horses. Horse riding rate: one hour five hundred, half hour two fifty, 